it's Dafina from dollars plus cents thank you so much for checking out my monthly budget template and I absolutely love this template I'm so excited to share it with you because this is the same exact template I used when I saved three hundred thousand dollars in four years I think it's an amazing budgeting tool and I wanted to share it with you so you can get an idea of exactly what you're getting if you decide to purchase it so here I just plugged in some random numbers just for illustrative purposes and I just want you to know that you can of course add anything that you want you can edit it you can delete what you want in each column a b or c and here it will calculate the difference black means that you stayed in budget or you did well and red means that you're over budget or didn't do well so when it comes to the income section it's going to be red if you make less than you said you would but in the expense part it will be red if you spent more than you said you would um, so I just plugged in some random numbers so you can see here is what I expected to earn my total income what I budgeted this is what I actually made I actually made a hundred dollars more Here's what I expected to spend for the month. This is what I actually spent for the month. I spent $240 more than I expected, but I've only spent $140 more than my earned income because I did make an extra $100. So technically I'm really like $140 over budget um, if you look at it that way. I also have a summary of my expenses. I spent more than I earned on expenses. That's why it's higher than 100%. Here, my favorite part is a calculator where you can calculate any um, expenses that you have that don't occur every month, that only occurs once in a while, for example, like your property taxes. So just to show you, I put 4,500. If your property taxes are 4,500, this is how much you have to spend and of course you can change it for other things as well let's say uh, your property taxes are six thousand now you have to save five hundred a month this housing recommendation is showing me the percent of my income that i'm spending on housing i'm spending 27 percent of my income on housing this tells me what I should be spending. Based on my income, I should be spending $925 if I'm renting or $1,110 if I have a mortgage. And I think I'm doing pretty good because I put $1,000 here, so I'm close to the range. And the saving recommendation, it's saying that I'm saving $250 and I should be saving $370 because this month I made uh, more and I should be saving a little bit more. My favorite part is the spending at a glance. This shows you how you did, how your spending went for the month just at a glance. And so you can look at the bar and say, oh my goodness, what did I spend so much money on here? And you could say, oh, that was under home. Usually my expenses are high under home, but what is this other thing that's so expensive? Oh my goodness, I spent $720 on entertainment. What did I spend $720 on? So you'll go here, you'll say, oh, you know, I spent 500 on my vacation or I, went to a concert this month that was not a part of the budget and so it just gives you a glance like things that you should just look at like things that stand out here you can say oh i spent a little bit here what is this that's your subscriptions maybe that's always low and you don't have to click on every bar you can just hover over it so this is just to give you a glance as to what it looks like the budget template and i hope that you love it just as much as i do and i think you will all right so feel free to email me or contact me if you need to my email is dafina at dollarspluscents.com and i look forward to speaking to you and i hope you love these templates all right take care bye bye